Hello, I'm Andy. Welcome to my well control class. In this slides, we will discuss about hydrostatic pressure and its application in basic well control calculation and why we have to round up or sometimes rounding down the calculation result. These slides are prepared for the new participants who take the well control course for the first time. More experienced participants can skip this video. Thank you. Any vertical fluid column of certain density will produce a hydrostatic pressure, which is a product of fluid pressure gradient and fluid column height above it. For a well full of fluid up to surface, then the height of fluid column is equal to the true vertical depth of that well, TVD. At the bottom of the well, the hydrostatic pressure, in PSI, is equal to mud weight in PPG, multiplied by 0.052 multiplied by feet TVD. Mud weight multiplied by 0.052 is mud gradient, and expressed in PSI per feet. Diagram below could be used to simplify hydrostatic formula calculations. The unknown variable should be covered from the diagram. And the remaining formula could be used for calculation. If hydrostatic pressure, PSI, is not known, then covering P would give. Mud weight multiplied by 0.052 multiplied by TVD, so we can calculate pressure. If mud weight is not known, then covering mud weight from the diagram will show. P divided by multiplication result of 0.052 multiplied by TVD. Or, P divided by 0.052 divided by TVD. And if the fluid column height is not known, then covering TVD resulting in. P divided by multiplication result of mud weight multiplied by 0.052 or P divided by MW divided by 0.052. During leak off test, we want to calculate leak pressure at casing shoe. Leak pressure at shoe equals to hydrostatic pressure plus surface pressure. If surface pressure, when the formation at shoe is starting to leak is 1000 PSI, and mud weight is 9.5 ppg, and shoe depth is 3000 feet TVD. Then we can calculate the shoe leak pressure as follows. Leak pressure at shoe is equal to 9.5 multiplied by 0.052 multiplied by 3000, then plus 1000 equals to 1482 plus 1000, so it is equal to 2482 psi. From previous calculation, leak pressure is 2482 psi while the shoe TVD is at 3,000 feet. So the maximum allowable mud weight is 2,482 divided by multiplication result of 0.052 by 3,000. 2,482 divided by 156 equals to 15.91026. This value is maximum limit, we cannot go above this value. Because the shoe will break, to stay safe, then we must round down. So we keep only the first decimal, and our maximum allowable mud weight is 15.9 ppg. Well is shut in due to kick. Drill pipe pressure, SIDP is 500 psi. Casing pressure, SICP is 650 psi. Well depth is 5000 feet MD, 4500 feet TVD. Mud weight is 9.5 ppg, so what is the bottom hole pressure? There are influx and mud inside the annulus, and they have different density, so it is easier to calculate bottom hole pressure using DP side. Bottom hole pressure is hydrostatic pressure plus surface DP pressures. Equals to 9.5 multiplied by 0.052 multiplied by 4500, and plus 500. So it is 2,223 plus 500, 
equals to 2723 PSI. What is kill mud density from the previous data? From previous calculation the bottom hole pressure is 2723 PSI, while the well TVD is 4500 feet. Therefore, kill mud density is BHP divided by multiplication result of 0.052 by TVD. 2723 divided by multiplication of 0.052 by 4500. 2723 divided by 234 equals to 11.636752. To ensure that the well will be killed, then this calculation result needs to be rounded up. To round up, we ignore the second decimal and any other number after, but we need to add 0.1, so we will have 11.7 ppg. Pressure will be transmitted equally to all directions. Mud column inside the drill string is connected to mud column in the annulus through bit nozzles. Therefore at the bit nozzles level, we will have pressure balance. In static conditions, pressure in the drill string will be transmitted into annulus and vice versa. Pressure will be the same at this point, whether it is calculated from the drill string or annulus. We can see application of YouTube and pressure balance principles in this slide. If we pumped heavy slug inside drill pipe, it will drop below the surface level since it heavier. Creating empty pipe at the top. If E is empty pipe height, and S is slug height inside the drill pipe. Then the following relation applies. S multiplied by slug gradient will be equal to the sum of S plus E multiplied by mud gradient. Or, slug weight divided by mud weight, minus 1, multiplied by slug volume over DP capacity is equal to empty pipe height. What will be empty pipe length? If 15 barrels of 12 ppg slug is pumped into DP, with capacity of 0.0178 barrels per foot, and the mud in hole is 9.6 ppg. Length of empty pipe E, will be equal to 12 over 9.6 minus 1, multiplied by 15 over 0.0178. 0.25 multiplied by 15 divided by 0.0178, so E is equal to 211 feet.